When an ice storm knocked out power to the base at Fort Knox for five days in 2009, it demonstrated the vulnerability of U.S. military installations. But even before the storm, efforts were underway to develop a separate source of on-site power mandated by a federal act that requires a higher level of energy security at military installations. When you think about all of our military bases, uh, if the military base loses all utilities and shuts down operations, um, that really creates a major hole in our uh, homeland security. So every base was given a tasker, uh, is what it's called, is a, uh, uh, to pursue a strategy uh, for energy security. In 2014, Fort Knox completed a $60 million energy project that includes six Caterpillar gas-powered generator sets along with 10 CAT diesel generators used primarily for backup power. The gas and diesel units are housed in six separate power stations that supply the 109,000-acre base near Louisville with 44 megawatts of peak load power. In those six facilities, uh, we have a total of 10 CAT 3516 diesel units and six CAT 3520 uh, natural gas units. Two of those are used strictly for peak shaving. Four of those function as combined heat power units. We want to have enough power generation to sustain operations 100% of the time without curtailment. In our best case scenario, we're seeing efficiencies uh, approximately 91%. Based on estimated savings of $8 million per year, the project is expected to pay for itself in nine years, including the standby diesel generator sets. Combined heat power represents a little over half of the total savings. Um, it's about $4.5 million for the, the CHP side of that. 75% of the power will still be purchased, but it will be purchased without those high demand penalties, and that's where you start to achieve uh, load unity or power unity. Fort Knox has been on the leading edge of renewable generation by utilizing solar power and geothermal heating and cooling. The addition of its own natural gas power plant has solidified its position as a leader. Fort Knox is far achieving that. One of the best, if not the best military base uh, in the world in terms of overall energy reduction. When it came to selecting power generation equipment, Harshaw Train chose Caterpillar based on reliability and dealer support. Caterpillar is the only manufacturer that has a local service company that has the magnitude of Wayne Supply does. It's very durable gear. Uh, we had an opportunity to visit the factory, uh, both Caterpillar and others, and there's clear differences uh, in terms of the ruggedness of the equipment, the durability, uh, the longevity, uh, very favorable maintenance intervals. Harshaw Train also selected CAT switchgear as part of the overall design. We wanted Wayne Supply to be accountable for turnkey solution that was attractive to us. The generators, the switchgear, and the emissions control. They were involved uh, and brought a lot of uh, Caterpillar resources um, to the table, which, which were very impressive. This truly was a design-build uh, approach to the project, and I don't know how we would have done it, quite honestly, without uh, the partnership with Wayne.